What's up investors? As the global economy reopens, inflationary pressures are expected to be the norm for some time. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you two top penny stocks which are good inflation bets and are amongst the best penny stocks to buy or watch as the economy is reopen. So please make sure you stay true to the end as I can bet you have never heard of some of these stocks. So let's get straight into it. Welcome back and thank you for being here and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell as I always bring you the hottest stock tips and always get straight to the point. And also if you would like to support the channel and are looking for a good investment platform, I do recommend using Webull which is now trading crypto and are currently giving away 2 free stocks worth over $1800 when you create a new account. And so if you don't already have one, please click the link in the description below or the pinned comment to sign up for a new account. I really appreciate it, thank you. And also if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what other penny stocks you currently hold in your portfolio. And so with that said, let's get straight into it and start with Chico's FAS, ticker number CHS. Chico's FAS has a share price of $4.39 per share and a market capitalization of $538 million. Its share price is already up by 44.8% in the month and also up by over 190% in the last six months, reflecting the broader vaccine rollout enabling brick and mortar shopping. And the added bonus with this penny stock is that it does pay a dividend with a yield of 2%. Chico's FAS is a cultivator of brands serving the lifestyle needs of fashion savvy women of 30 years and older. Their brand portfolio consists of three brands, which are Chico's, White House Black Market and Soma, which are all specialty retailers of private label women's apparel, accessories and related products. And as of January 1st, 2021, they had over 1,308 boutiques and outlets throughout the United States as well as an online presence for each of their brands. In their latest results for 2020, they announced that they had 7 consecutive months of sales growth and their total net sales for Q4 2020 was $386 million down from $527 million in 2019. They also ended with a net loss of $79 million, significantly higher than $4 million from the prior year driven by the pandemic challenges. They have however been very proactive in their approach to cost reductions having realized over $235 million in savings in 2020 which was 23% greater than was planned. And for 2021, they are looking to consolidate their sales trends to improve on the back of COVID-19 vaccine rollout. They forecast ongoing investments in digital channels to deliver continued sales growth and other initiatives to drive growth and reduce costs. So some exciting times for this stock as we head into the second half of the year where if 2019 sales growth of over $500 million is anything to go by, then there's a lot more to be offered by this stock. So if you want to invest in it, you want to strike in at the price which you like and one that works for you. And so I'll start by cost averaging in with the stop loss ideally in the range of 5-10%. to The share price is already on a steady upward momentum so my strike price will be within the range of $3.60 and $4 per share. So if there's any further pullback towards $4 per share, that will be a good entry point. I want you to see how far down this value stock has fallen since pre-COVID. It gives an indication of their potential should they sustain the month-on-month -month growth and cost savings. So my view is they could easily 3x over the next 12 to 18 months once the economy is fully reopened, but please do your own research. Next up is Tough Build Industries, ticker number TBLT. Tough Build has a share price of 70 cents and a market capitalization of $58.9 million. Its share price is down by 10.6% in the last month and also down by over 36% over the last 12 months, making this stock look like deep value. Tough Builds is an advanced product design 
manufacturer and distributor with emphasis on innovative products, focus on tools and other accessories for the professional and do-it-yourself construction industries. The market and distribute various home improvement and construction product lines under the tough build brand name within the global multi-billion dollar per year tool market industry. And since launching product sales in 2013, they have experienced significant annual sales growth and their mission is to provide products that are innovative, of superior quality for their end users while enhancing performance. Tough Bill recently reported their financial results for Q121 and stated that revenues increased by 214% to $12.3 million, compared to $3.9 million in Q1 2020. Their gross profit margins also increased by 128% to $3.5 million compared to $1.5 million in Q1 2020. And for the full year 2020, their full year revenues increased by 106% to $39.4 million as compared to $19 million in 2019, with gross profits also increasing by over 162% to $14.7 million. They have also grown their global presence serving the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Europe, Australia, New Zealand and South Korea. So some solid top line growth and profit margins backed by international expansion. They recently announced that they had grown their business from 4 SKUs to 25 SKUs with Toolstation, a leading Netherlands based retailer. And the 25 SKUs have been slotted for immediate placement in all stores, catalogs and Toolstation's website in the Netherlands and Belgium regions. Tofbill also announced that the gross sales through the Amazon storefronts for the full year 2020 was approximately $7 million, which is about 20% of total revenue, which is just significant. And the Amazon storefront results are indicative of the progress made with their product lines and their commitment and investments to become a global company. And furthermore, they are looking to grow sales on Amazon USA and Amazon platforms internationally as they launch more lines this coming year and beyond. So some exciting times ahead for this penny stock and one good thing about this stock is that it has been showing consistent and good top line growth year on year since 2016. It is still very much loss making over the last 5 years but what we can see is that the deficit seems to be reducing as they have been funding global expansion at the expense of shareholder profits. So all really good characteristics of a long term high growth play and so exciting times ahead. So if you want to invest in this stock, you want to strike in at a price that works for you. The share price has been quite volatile recently and I don't think it has bottomed out yet. So my strike price on this one is going to be between 60 to 65 cents per share. So if there's any further pullback towards 65 cents per share, that will be a good entry point to load up for the long term given their strong outlook. And when you look at where this stock has come from pre-COVID, you can begin to see how much potential this stock could have with a one-time peak of about $30 per share. My bet is that given the current growth and outlook, the stock could hit its pre-COVID highs of $5.40 over the next 12 to 18 months once economies are fully reopened giving it an upside potential of up to 714%. And this is assuming they continue to execute the existing strategy, growing the top line sustainably and reducing the bottom line losses over the next 12 to 18 months. But please do your own research. You need to be aware that despite the positive outlook with these stocks, investing in them is still risky and volatile given the current market conditions. So just make sure you're planning for any trade accordingly and it falls within your risk tolerance. This video is not a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I'd love to hear from you, so please let me know your thoughts on these stocks in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.